Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Dot for Public the Sith Lords, the Act 2, which is going to be approaching climax of that's going to be on this episode and probably the next one, or maybe a uh, second or a third one afterwards, but it depends on how long this climax is going to reach up. It's been a long time uh, coming uh, since the Act 2 had began. It's been hard, long months and weeks that I have poured into the Act 2, but it's going to be paying off because the new tricks I've been learning of this new development this year, despite of cr how crappy it is right now we are dealing with in reality. But right now, this is going to be your enjoyment, folks. So this video is for you guys, and the next one is going to be the deal breaker climax of the Act 2 of the Sith Lords. So now from the last episode and the other one before this one, the last one, is that Arthur Ark had sent out three of his companions, Vesus Mar, Handmaid, and Bador, three Jedis, or Jedis in training, one as an ex-Sith, has uh, in infiltrated and raided the Sith Pyramid to uh, cut off mm, wherever it is that of the Sith reinforcements or something. But wherever the ritual that those Sith Lords were doing in the Pyramid, they couldn't stop it in time. So wherever it is, hopefully, hopefully on my end, eventually uh, going to Isis and on Onderon, I'll have more luck than they did. So right now, we've already opened the sarcophagus of a very old, dead, freedom nad Sith Lord, one of the originals. Ugh. I guess we go meet up with Sargog, or we just go to him since he just showed up. I wonder if he's always been there. Death. Thanks. Thanks, man. We're ready to go, and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna practice this invitation speech. Just what happened with Arthur Ark? Oof. Guess I'm gonna be figuring out on my end. <laughs> Um, I know that's not a perfect imitation of Handmaid's voice. Can't exactly prefer to dict. Mm -hmm. A war droid? I've heard stories about these things. <laughs> Hot damn! So this is a basilisk war joy that I've heard stories about. Kandor's Ordo, one of the old companions of Revan has gone to spy, had told stories about uh, war droids like this. <laughs> stories damn well give best impression about this thing. So, remind me though, what exactly is a basilisk? I see. Um, just what kinds of unimportant support systems? I need to know about these systems before I even agree to this. Right. Alright. And I would most happily, uh, um, most gladly uh, repay those words in kind with many companions I take, but unfortunately, I'm still limited with only two people. And 
for some reason, Kreia is going to be coming into the party of this skirmish. Hmm. This will be interesting to pick. Alright, um... I guess I will be taking... Hmm... This is kind of tough. Okay, um... I'll be taking Mandalore! Since, after all, he's going, since this is going to be one of the best sword droids we're bar practically borrowing after all. Alright, it looks like we're going to be coming in hard, if what, if what the Mandalorian said is true. So right now, this is going to be a one hot pace chase of what we're going to be heading towards in ISIS, unlike last time. So... Better have your popcorn and your snacks ready, because it's going to get bumpy. Hee ha! Whoa, the Mandalorian wasn't kidding about those defenses of resistance. Looks like he speaks the truth about the civil war already gripping the city. The Mandalorian's exploits have left a profound impact in more places than ISIS. I agree. Let's get this uh, blood rolling. Style Jedi style formation form. Preferences Shi Yen. Bugs made it defective. Bosses than just one at a time. And now shields up. Endurance and pod activate. Oh, bear level up first. Now to be at home. Like shoot a fish in the barrel. Time to get some healing started. Mm, so this is the new improve of the third haze of Master Healing, huh? Alright, this will be good then. Start this new ability, Force Confusion. I can make uh, that one uh, to become my ally for the time being. Unfortunately, I still can use the same trick on the other ones. Unfortunately, oh uh, well. Force Whirlwind. This is one of my old favorite tricks.
and just like that we clean house damn the civil war has really started to make the worst things on ISIS the situation is worse than we were led to believe and all about all right the rampart uh, that uh, I got information about from my last visit leads up to the palace. Let's go there immediately. Unfortunately, oh, we gotta deal with the one I just brainwashed. That just remembers his purpose of mm, play being placed here. All right, force channel, force points regeneration. It was regenerated a lot faster than normal. I recognize you, you're that off world here. Come, we have no time. That's right. Of course, lead the way. Glad I have such a positive reaction on your Master Kafar. I think you're my most favorite Jedi Master of all in instead of Frook. <laughs> Alright. Understood. She and style once again. Shields up. All right. I'll cover the implants. He fi fo fum here's Jedi ex exile <laughs> Alright Force Channel Double Force Damage Let's see how you like my little uh, present gift I plan on that band. Safe enough for occasions like this. Force Lightning! Force Lightning! Oof. A bomber incoming. Stasis Field. Okay, Master Valor, Master Energy Resistance, Force Power here, Master Battle of Meditation. Because of the Force bond between Kreia and the Exile, I'll be able to make good use of it. That was a Yon Bomber. You just now notice it. I pity him.
it's been breached already. Alright, let's see if I can be able to access this bastard's code. It's granted. Access other systems. It's been disabled by remote Adam. Okay, if I could access the turret controls, I may be... It shows that many of the Valkyrie ships are patrolling the facility, bombarding the Royalist troops. I can be able to clear the skies if I operate this turret, which I will do so. Hold on, pause. This is real interesting, and then doing this on the Ebon Hog. Alright, two down. Um, six to go. Sorry, I'm not very good with math. But who needs math in battlefields? Alright, four down. Only four of these flyers to go. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a burning jet fire. They're too low. I can't even get them. I can't even shoot them. Uh, that's right. Come up. Come up, you stupid fighters. Then you're going to start to give you some pilot lessons. Of course he didn't, because otherwise you would know that's a stupid idea to come up uh, when you have the advantage up below. Dumbasses. Alright. Perseverance, she and style. This must be the barracks. Really? Let's get some things that you don't need from the barracks first. What the? Well, this is really surprising for me. Usually I'm the one that's been doing the slicing on enemies when they're not even expecting and their systems being hacked and used for security measures. Oh well, that force field's gonna be a problem though up ahead. Let's see if I can deactivate the force field barrier. Valkum? Tobin? So they know we're coming? That's fine, because we're going to be kicking their ashes so once uh, that we get up in uh, their positions. The shield's just going to hold out until we get there. That's X Jedi Knight to you, stupid. You better surrender now. Why lose your life to four of the General Valku's ambitions? Alright. Place in another armband shield.
Alright, let's try this. Beast trick! Ha, huh, it worked. Let's go! Under ha! Reinforcements? Excellent! Let's go! Finally, somebody has the right idea. Go ahead and run. I would not harm you if you leave now. Somebody has the right brains sometimes. Seth Lord? Not the ones that's hunting me, uh, but uh, definitely uh, achieve status. <laughs> the Sith Lords at the Pyramid are no joke. They nearly uh, almost uh, killed my friends uh, in, the ar in their operation back on Duxon. Force resistance, energy resistance, and poor battle meditation. Burst of speed. All right, let's go. Breaching the shield now. Come on. There we go. Oh man. <sighs> so much for reinforcements. It's to be expected we're dealing with just one Sith Lord. Just try this beast trick. Stasis? The let's go then. We mustn't be too light forward. That would be a good idea. And look, the door's still open. Shut the outer door now. No, it's closed. Any door can be open, Tobin. This is not over. Tobin! Damn it. OK. 
Okay, I think. If we can. Okay, how about this one? Damn it, it's offline. Okay. Think, think, think. Okay, um. Alright. Okay, this door can be open, but it can be done uh, just like in the same way that Handmaid and the, t and the others was able to get through the other door back at the pyramid uh, and when they interrupted the Sith Lord's ritual. You see, in the west side and the east side, there's two terminals. Now, when we encounter them, uh, there's to be a uh, some sort of terminals that's connected to this single door. If we can be able to get to now, the last time that Ham and the others was able to get to one of them, it usually just requires just one of those terminals to open up this door. But I'm afraid in this case scenario, it's going to be taking two terminals to open this door. Is what I believe anyway. All right, we're going to need uh, to take a break until after these messages, folks. So this has gone by the spy sign off for now.